Mazatrol and EIA offsets do not affect one another. For example, an offset on the Mazatrol side is not applied if an EIA program is running. If your shop normally runs Mazatrol programs, it is possible that a particular tool may have an offset entered on one table and not the other, or offsets may be entered in both tables. This can cause problems when a tool is used in both program types and the insert is changed. There are parameters in the control that will determine which set of offsets will apply on your machine. If your shop often uses both Mazatrol and EIA programs, you'll need to talk to your programmer to learn how your machine has been set in regard to offsets. Because the axis grid rotates with the tool head when live tools are used, the offsets are also affected. As you may recall from other lathes, when an x-axis offset is executed, the tool moves just half the offset value entered. For example, if the offset is two thousandths, the tool actually moves just one thousandth in x. Since the bar is rotating, however, a full two thousandths is removed from the diameter of the part. The same is true of x-axis offsets on the Integrex. The tool moves only half the amount entered in the wear offset. This is important to remember when adjusting cross-drilling, milling, or other point machining processes. For example, if you have a live tool milling a slot on the main spindle and the location is off by two thousandths, the x-axis wear offset will need to be adjusted. However, since the mill only moves half the distance entered in the x-offset direction, the amount entered must be doubled to four thousandths to create a two thousandths tool movement. Face drilling, which is not on the spindle center line, will also need to have their offset corrections in the X axis direction doubled. Doubling the offset amount only applies to X and not the Z axis. Offsets in the Z axis at the main and sub spindle are directly applied since the amount entered is exactly how far the tool moves in Z. Notice that once the part is transferred to the sub spindle, the zero point is moved with a zero offset in the program. This offset moves the location of program 0 along the z-axis. Program 0 is placed on the same surface of the part, however that surface is now inside the holding device in the subspindle. Notice that the geometry offset values are not defined by using the normal x and z addresses. Instead they are assigned as a and b dimensions. This is because the tools on the integrex can be rotated with the b-axis. Because the tool head rotates, the actual address directions change depending on the location of the tool head. Since the geometry offsets relate to the length and width of each tool when in the tool head, those values do not change even though the head rotates. Therefore, the letters A and B are assigned to the tool length and radius. Wear offsets, however, are determined by measuring the dimensions of the workpiece. Therefore, the values assigned to these offsets use the X and Z axes to define the necessary corrections to be made to the workpiece feature. Because the tool head rotates, and this rotation will affect the sign of these corrections in X and Z, it is best to display the compensation help window to be sure you are entering the correct axis and sign when adjusting wear offsets.